Hey gamers. Hi everybody. Hey! Welcome! Look at- I have graphics. I made graphics for my stream. Here they are. Uh, there's a lot I want to change already. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I need to fuss with. But let's go ahead and make sure I'm going to turn my mic volume down a little. How does the game audio sound? How does my audio sound? Is it relatively in sync? <laughs> hey, Nick! Gamer mode, yeah. Yeah, like a, like a real professional Twitch streamer or something. Uh, yeah, so these graphics are what I've been working on for months. <laughs> uh, and there's already so much that I need to update. Uh, it, one of the real difficult struggles with graphics is that I want... I want all of the UI elements of games to be visible, but also my face and captions to be visible. And so I'm hoping that this is a good compromise, this kind of overlap. Um, but then I'm I, then I don't want to lose much of the actual screen of the game because that's important to what's happening here. So, um, but there's already stuff I need to fix. Like, let me show you the full cam version. This little green line that is overlapping my captions. I need to fix that. <laughs> and also, for some reason, part of the graphics w just seem to not want to play in the full cam section, which is really frustrating. And also they're out of, hey, why did this move? The the sub, the thank you for subbing name section got moved. I don't know, anyway, it's a work in progress, but the important thing is that I have liftoff. <laughs> it's here, it's happening, it's going. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it was one of those things where it's like, I just kind of have to sit down and fuss. It's a lot of fussing. Um, but you know, it's all, it's all going good. Oh, thank you. I have a, I have a neckerchief on. I, w I did a minor amount of, um, physical labor and exhausted myself <laughs> and got super sweaty. Um, but no, I, I'm helping my dad with his garden and I've planted some carrots and stuff. And so I was like, I've got a little time before the stream goes live. I'll, I'll do some weeding. And I did about 20 minutes of weeding and was just like, covered in dirt and sweat <laughs> but my plant beds look beautiful they look a lot nicer yeah my nails match the overlay i i chose only colors that i love <laughs> i chose some of the colors i love the most so i don't know i'm pretty happy with it i updated all the panels too i updated nightbot i you know it's one of those things like where you have a setup like this you patch over a lot of things as you keep going, so it was kind of nice to just, like, clear off my plate and start over and have just a totally fresh new setup. Looking all cool and professional, Maximum Cowboy. Thank you for the subscribe. Sorry that your name is cut off because the graphics are being weird. Oh, okay. See, the overlay... The overlay did pop up a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I'm still fussing with it. Let's go back to the game screen. But mostly, I'm really happy. It took forever to do the starting graphic. happy how it turned out yeah my nails pigeons are dinosaurs my nails are also full of dirt thankfully they're uh painted so <laughs> oh yeah i don't have a, i don't have a mic setting so you guys can't hear me when i go to that screen as it should be the audio cuts off yeah i should put audio in the in the the opening section but that's my private space it is it is! I also have an ending screen so that instead of flailing with my keyboard while the raid is ticking down and stuff like that, I can put myself in like a digital green room, basically. I'm really happy about that. Uh, Y'all ready for some horror point and click mystery? In this ca case, no, the spider of Lanka. I'm really, really excited about the spider of Lanka. So it's three chapters. Um, Y'all are gonna have to remind me how anything in this game functions. Because uh, if this relies on any of the lore of the first game, uh, I'm sunk. And y'all need to be here. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I'm going camping over the weekend. That's not important for you to know. What's important for y'all to know is that I'm gonna do my best to wake up and get in my car and drive a few hours back from camping to the office to be on time for this stream next Sunday. 
but I can't make any promises. So, um, we'll just see. I'm going to do my very, very best. Uh, but the stream might end up being a little bit late. We'll see. I wish I could live in the woods forever. All right. You think it's a prequel? Okay. Okay. Golden Idol Mysteries, The Spider of Lenka. The overly enthusiastic card game tournament in the Yellow Lily. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, wow. Okay, we're really just... This is a lot of bodies. Already. Um, look at this cool giant face. I, I love big heads. There's got to be quotes about that, right? I actually think the quotes are about me hating big heads, but that's only because um, there's so many big heads in horror games. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's, ah, where to start? Let's start at the stuff that's not a human body. Yeah. Yellow Lily card house rules. Broke something? Pay for it. Too drunk to play? Get out. Lost all your money? Game over. Someone cheated? Sort it yourself. The management accepts no liability if you decide to play against Bill. <gasps> Can't wait to see which one is Bill. Okay. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay. Was it on the table? Okay, so this is a card game. Uh, I've got a Knight of Centaurs, a Two of Boars, uh, and a Jack of Peasants, and uh, three Ace of Archers. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna... Yes. No, I have no clue yet. I'm very hard to see what is happening here. Cat ears go whoosh! Thank you for the resubscribe. Oh, man. Okay. I, the, I'm... The, the, I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at the things I need to fix with my graphics. <laughs> I'm just like, cat ears go whoosh, why are you off to the side? And I bet it's because of the alignment of the text boxes. Anyway, all right. Hey, Mozart goats. So, I, one, two, three. I guess these are rounds, maybe. Can I even begin to parse what this is supposed to be? Okay. Same, same one, two, three. Okay, somebody spilt their drink. Somebody got sloppy in the DLC. Okay. Pajack or Pajack? Tournament card, Carlos Luna, Oberon Geller, Sri Thaisen, Pendula Senevi, Ruben Hendrix, Gabriel Hubert, Hubert, Bill Price, I already got Bill, Zubiri Kara. Okay, Bill was the one that the rules warned to not play against. Um, and Zubiri Kara's unranked. It's interesting that there's no wins marked here. I bet we have to figure out who was sitting where and that'll help. Okay, Lunar Reach. Is it? Because when I said the word Carlos Luna, I was like, that's a name. That's a name I know. This is somebody, right? It's gotta, that's somebody, right? Uh, okay. I'm curious if we're gonna have to match up the people who are playing with their spots and then figure out the price or the value of each card based on this. He's absolutely a roll 20 and d20 guy. Okay. Well spotted. Oh, okay. Blue win, yellow win, blue win. All right. Well, hold on. One, two, three. Okay. So this has to be, this table in the corner has to be Carlos Luna and Oberon Geller, right? Oh my god, I need a pen and paper. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I took my big writing pad home so I could finalize the design of my tattoo that I'm going to be live tattooing on myself. 
whenever my tattoo supplies come in, um, which is still a big question mark. I do not want to know when they will arrive, but we're into it. Okay. I'd like to do that tattoo stream before the end of the month, so we'll see. Uh, but okay. So, uh, Carlos Luna, 420, nice. Ron Geller, 640. Win, win, win. Okay, this is probably preemptive. I should look around first before trying to get into it. Uh, I'm just curious. I guess the points that they earn are cumulative. For the three rounds. So two archers beats a centaur. One boar beats an archer. I the, my guess is this is gonna be like a complicated uh rock papa scissor. Are y'all playing Tears of the Kingdom? I have, despite being a Breath of the Wild naysayer, really been enjoying it. Uh I was just thinking about it because of the rock the rock the baton. Uh, I, I'm a Breath of the Wild naysayer because I didn't like Breath of the Wild. All right, let's do, let's do the dead bodies. Uh, I'm a big, 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 big Zelda fan. It's one of my favorite franchises. It was one of the, Link's Awakening was one of the first games I ever played, period. Um, and really knocked off my love of gaming. And Breath of the Wild just never really felt like a Zelda game to me. It was clear that they were doing, doing other things with the franchise. And I support them. But I didn't just did not enjoy the game. And I'm enjoying Tears of the Kingdom a lot more. But I'm curious how it's gonna wear on me. We'll see. It does, yes. Hey Lanini, that's that's my thing. Is like it is it there's I had I had a lot of issues. Aside from the Zelda fact, I had a lot of issues with the gameplay and structure of Breath of the Wild. Uh, and it does seem like Tears of the Kingdom has refined a lot of those things. So I'm, I'm hesitantly enjoying myself so far. All right. It is crucial to our operations in the South Seas to secure trading fortresses in the Lanka Archipelago. Regrettably, Lemuria, okay, Lemuria was in the, the base game, I remember that, continues to object to it and advises the local rulers against our presence. The Lemurians cannot project their power directly, but they still have the spiritual authority in the Lankan kingdoms, which used to belong to the now crumbling Lemurian empire. The Lemurian influence on Lanka must be broken. Cooperate with our agents in the region. In particular, mage, widower, and doctor could prove useful. Remember that your reward for a job well done will be enormous. Yes, Hobbs, I think that's right. Lemuria is where the idol comes from. Uh, is Lemuria, was that ever a real country? Because. I have played other games where they have had, like, enemies named L Lemurias. Like, this is a, g a word I have seen pop up in games now, and I'm having one of those deeply humbling moments where I'm like, is that real? <laughs> is that a thing? It's an Atlantis kind of thing? Rob, thank god you're here, knowing stuff about l fucking Lemuria. Wiki says Lemuria or Lemuria was a continent proposed in <laughs> something inherently hysterical about the phrase a continent proposed in 1864 by zoologist Philip Scatler theorized to have sunk beneath the Indian Ocean. Okay, later appropriated by occultists in supposed accounts of human origins. The theory was discredited with the discovery of plate tectonics and continental drift in the 20th century. Yeah, okay, so it is it is an Atlantean Atlantean vibe. Lemur was the name of my childhood cat. That's a very good name for a cat. I just love the idea that you can propose a, co a continent. What if there was a continent? <laughs> I, yeah, you could just say fucking any old thing. Not like science today. <laughs> Not like what people do today within the name of science. When drawing lots for matching pairs, arrange it so that the newcomer plays against the best player here. He wants to test his skills. Okay. So 
Uh, Zubiri Kara is a newcomer. Nope. And... But, and we don't know who this note's from. He wants to test his sills implies that it is not from Bill. An almost empty flask of rum. Nice. A yellow rosette. A stiletto with a clean blade. Okay. And a clean sword. All right. Uh, the man is asleep and appears to be completely drunk. Okay. Not dead. That's good news. Now, the rest of you. A huge and bloody mace. A yellow rosette. My strong friend! I wish people directed letters to me that way. Hello, Jenna. My strong friend. Join me tonight for the Pajak Tournament and the Yellow Lily. Bill will be present so long as he wins, however. So long as he wins, however, he does not become crazed. Please bring, bring Gabriel as a precautionary measure should Bill lose his temper. Oberon. Okay. Is this Bill... Did he lose, and did he become crazed? Okay. <laughs> Betting that big guy was Bill? Uh, that's possible. The man is not breathing and has a harpoon sticking out of him. Well, Jay Dimson, you're not you're not wrong. N normally the <laughs> problem or unknown or unexplained things, normally you're like proposing a hypothesis based on information. <laughs> I think if you're proposing a continent, you should have proof that there is a continent. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's so funny to me cuz being like, yeah, what if there's a continent? Why would you say that? Oh. Ah, what if there just was? B but based on what? Shotgun throwing blades, cool. But they're clean. A Qatar blade, also cool, but they're clean. Hmm. And this guy has a blue rosette on them. Okay. Haha! <laughs> okay. So... Okay, okay, so I think I know, okay, let's keep, let's keep going, but I think I have some ideas. How do I get out of socializing with my brother? Uh-oh. <laughs> Good luck, Mechtel. All right, rum? Yep. Knife. Knife. Yellow rosette. I like how they've positioned this glimmer like it's uh, a fancy gold tooth. Oberon wants to embarrass himself again. Round up Sri and Reuben from the ship and meet at the Yellow Lily at around 10 from the Quartermaster. The man is not breathing. The man is not breathing. A long rapier is stabbed in his back. Half empty flask of rum. Woo! That's a lot of ears. You hear me? A necklace made of human ears. One has a cool earring, which is <laughs> just, just a nice touch. The hypothesis was pro proposed as an explanation for the presence of numerous fossils in Madagascar and in the Indian subcontinent, but not in Africa or the Middle East. Okay, okay, you might have me. Biologist Ernst Haeckel's suggestion in 1870 that Lemuria could be the ancestral home of mankind caused the hypothesis to move beyond the scope of geology and zoo geography, ensuring its popularity outside of the framework of the scientific community. All right, you're right. It's not funny. It's not funny that he proposed a continent. This time I will beat you in Pajak. Get your crew and we shall play in the eight player tournament at the Yellow Lily. Okay. Quartermaster, Sen will beat you. Okay, so this dude was the quartermaster. Get your crew and we shall play in the eight player tournament. <laughs> All right. Whoo, he's got a chakram. All right, a poignard knife, a dagger, a stiletto with a clean blade. Uh, okay. 
Oh, that's a good question. Is the continent named after lemurs or are lemurs named after the continent? That is a good question. I think we can all agree the word Lemuria is very pleasing to say out loud. Maybe that's just me. What in the blazes? They're all dead. Thank you for saving my life, kind sir. I think this is the newbie. And I think this is Bill. This is my guess. A yellow rosette. Yes, my dear Zubiri. Upon my arrival in just a few days, we will depart Jampurpur together. While you await, I beg you, continue to apply yourself to your studies. As Lemurians, we may be held in high regard in Lanka, but we must not become careless or besmirch the Kara family name. <laughs> Are you skilled at Pajak? Test yourself and win money in the tournament. June 11 at sundown in the port in the Yellow Lily. Oh boy. Let us leave this unsavory watering hole. You do not appear to have sustained any serious injury, but perhaps a sift drink will help settle your nerves. Dr. Oberon Geller, surgeon and hypnotherapist, Island of Lanka. Okay, so this is Geller. An empty pistol, a loaded pistol, a stiletto with a clean blade, and a surgical kit. Scalp, scalpel treated, I got from clicking on that, okay. Okay, I think I, okay, yeah, I got all the clues. Uh, okay, okay, it's pen and paper time. <laughs> okay. So, this is the newbie, Zubiri. I'm gonna write down all their names. Paris Luna, Oberon Geller, P-S-R-H, G. P, ZK. All right. ZK. Still alive. Hey, Longtone. Thank you for the resubscribe. Um, okay. And this is Oberon, right? Okay. Dakta. Dakta Oberon Geller. Uh, okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six names not accounted for. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bodies. Okay. Uh, the people we do not have accounted for are Carlos Luna, Sri Thaisen, Pendula Sinevi, Ruben Hendricks, Gabriel, Gabriel Hubert, and Bill Price. Um, so we know this table was Carlos Luna and Oberon Geller. So I, I do want to assume that this is Carlos Luna. I mean, we know it's not Oberon Three, Ruben, or Zbiri. Hmm. All right, and... You got blue, you got yellow. I'm gonna mark down the color of their rosettes as well. Yellow. God, I love pot uh, puzzles. I love logic puzzles like this. Probably mentioned this for the last time I played uh, when we played the base game. But I used to get puzzle or like puzzle books. Like whenever we went on road trips, I would get logic puzzle books and just puzzle them out. They're so satisfying. All right, we got, I'm going to do a little sketch of the bodies, I guess. We got body here, body, yaddy, yaddy, body, yaddy, yaddy. This is too overlapping. This guy down here. Okay. I think this guy in the bottom right is Carlos Luna. This guy killed this guy, Juan Hondo, because he does have a circular blade in his head. Um, you've got a harpoon in you, right? Oh, no, you got a rapier. You've got a harpoon. I it, this looks like Oh, and you're you're just asleep actually. I forgot you're fine. You're not a body. I love that the three of these in my estimation, it's like a Mexican standoff, but with five of them and they all attacked at once and they all had melee weapons. So they all just kind of 
Schlump. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Uh, all right. So this person, you stabbed someone. You look like you were stabbed. All right, you've got yellow. You've got bleh. You got bleh. You got yeller. You got yeller. And you got blue. Okay. So we know. So since. Since Zubiri was going against Bill and Zubiri has yellow, we know Bill has a blue. Rosette. And since we know Oberon has a blue, we know that Carlos had yellow. Okay. Um, so I do think, I do really think this is Carlos. Uh, just positioning wise, it seems like the most likely. Hey, Copper Sand, you haven't missed much. I mean, I guess you've missed what, what happens every stream, which is just me talking a lot. <laughs> Okay. Where, okay, what do I need to figure out actually? Blank, 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 a blank game to blank, 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 blank. Thought blank, blank had blank, so he tried to take blank, blank, oh, had cheated, I'm gonna guess. So he tried to take blank, blank's ass. Who killed whom chronologically? Oh, I can start filling in, I can do these names at least. Kubiri, Zubiri, Kara. Uberon Gala. And I think Carlos Luna. Okay. Uh Trellobot Agent, I also think that. Order the Pajak card starting with the strongest and ending with the weakest. Okay. I I was worried I was gonna have to do that. Mm. Yeah, I needed something to fill out the the trawl in the bottom left corner, so I have included some bat facts. So I like bats a lot. Bats are an important pollinator. And I think they deserve more love and attention. <laughs> okay. So we gotta find the order of this group. Um... So, okay, so we know the order of wins on this one. It's win, win, win. <laughs> I love bats too. Bats are great. Uh, one bat fact I did not include on the scroll, but which I thought was interesting, is that uh, most of the species of bats in the United States uh, are either threatened or endangered, which is a real damn shame. Uh, but if you ever want to help out, you can make back boxes, and that gives bats a nice little place for them to sleep at. And bats like that. They like sleeping a lot, because they're very relatable animals. I mean, it's sad to know, but we can help. We can help the bats. And the bats are good. Okay. Your parents have a bot box? My dad has a bat box. It's nice. It's nice. Corvus Punk, I've got great news about one of the bat facts that I have. <laughs> I remember being at Bryant Park in New York for some sort of evening. It was, um, it was a, a movie in the park of uncut gems of all things. And I remember seeing bats flying around overhead and just being like so delighted that even in the heart, the heart of Manhattan, there are still bats flying around doing their fucking bat thing. Love it. The Bat Conservation Society is a fun organization to donate to. They send you bat newsletters. That sounds incredible. I love bats. What a stressful film to watch in a park. Yeah. <laughs> it was not my first time watching it, so I knew what I was getting into, but it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a great time, though. 
I remember because it was right next to Kino Kunia, and I went and I got like four cute uh, rugs. <laughs> that was a great day. I have such strong memories of it because it's such a great day. Okay. So I think ooh, I think the next step is I need to figure out roughly the values of these things. So this these three cards, one peasant, one centaur, one boar equals 420. And we have to assume that they don't all have equal values. God, fucking game making me do f some fucking high school math here. Hey, mix this up. Yeah, it's case of the golden idol time. It's DLC time. Yeah, this, the, these three cards together equal 420. These four cards together equals 640. So four plus, oh, okay. Okay, the fact that it's three archers is actually very helpful. Emity Sketch, yes. The sub subtitle software is really good and free. Uh, if you are interested in it or you want to recommend it to somebody, I have the links down in my panels under, I think it's under FAQ. I just did a, updated all my panel graphics too, but it should be down there. Uh, oh man, I loved Blood and Glitter. Copper Sands is one of my, one of my top Eurovision hits. Love the blood and glitter. Uh, thought it was like a chess ranking system. No, I think it's I think it's a value system. Cause they all have different values. Bill price. I mean, maybe. No, I think it has to be because we have to figure out we have to figure out the rankings of them. And we don't have to figure out the exact numbers, but we need to figure out roughly, roughly what their prices are. Yeah, we gotta solve a system of, yeah, we do have to solve a system of equations. But, I mean, this one is a good key. Because the fact that it has three... It's so difficult. I don't remember the optimum way of doing it. So, I mean, but okay. So, one boar and three archers equals 640. So it could be that the boar equals 40 and each archer equals 100. No, equals 200. Let me prove I can do basic math. Uh, huh. no, um, 1B plus 3A equals 640. So the blue score, which is this top row, is 640. The bottom row is 420. Can't you just use wins and losses to say that archer is more than boar is more than peasant? Maybe? I'm not so positive. Yeah, Mechtel, if you if you can't get the Twitch and Discord connection thing to work, just DM me on Twitch. I'll hook you up. I'm not very stringent about my Discord rules. Okay. But see, we also, we have other tables with other scores that we don't necessarily know. Um, but my guess is this was spilled to obscure who won this battle, because I think this, I think this one is... Zubiri and Bill. And I do think this guy has got to be Bill, right? So if this, whoever this one is is the quartermaster. Quartermaster. This time I will beat you in Pajak. All right. My strong friend. Bill will be present. Okay. Please bring Gabriel as a precautionary measure. Should Bill... So this person is not Bill or Gabriel. SSC, we don't have anybody with the initials SSC. Drawing lots for matching pairs, arrange it so that the newcomer plays against the best player. Um, so we know this one isn't Bill. You don't have any notes on you. All right, and we know this guy, who is almost certainly Carlos Luna, is not Oberon. 
Siri or Reuben. Okay, so taking wild guess, and I think we're gonna we're just gonna plug these in here. I think this is Carlos Luna. I think this has got to be Gil. Do I know Bill's last name? Hold on. Yes. It was on the screen. Hold on. Oh, I accidentally clicked on my... <laughs> I accidentally clicked too far off screen. Um, Bill Price. Bill Price is a funny name. Anonymous, anonymous Gifter, thank you for the anonymous gift sub. To Copper Sands. You should be able to get in the Discord now. No problem. But if you still have problems, let me know. It can be a little fussy. Thank you, mysterious stranger. Who I, I suppose is desperate to see some <laughs> Eurovision fan art. As am I. Okay. So that one's... Okay, so I think this is Bill and Zbiri. So one of these tables is three and Padula and one is Ruben and Gabriel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down, so 620, 590, 550, 480. And let's write down their wins. Okay. Mm. So we've got, okay. God, this is tricky. So we know. Well, see, I don't know who won here. Wait, hold on, okay. So one art, we know an archer is better than a boar. So we know that blue won this round, the third round. So this could either be Gabriel or Sri. <laughs> because we don't know which color they had. So this could either be So blue took this blue took this one. Sorry, I'm doing more diagrams. This is a really di heavy diagram session for me. Um so we know in this one That blue one number three. Good luck, Sexalia <laughs> de Rolo. <laughs> um, I think Tau. Oh God, how do? Okay. Uh, all right. So if this is. No, okay, you're right. It, this has to be unranked, because Zubiri is unranked. No, okay. I think all that math I was doing was, in fact, useless. I think whoever said that in the chat was correct. Um, yeah, these have to be the overall rankings. So they can't matter that much. That's actually a huge relief. So a peasant is better than a boar. Which is better than, or which is worse than an archer, but we don't know how, we know two archers beats a centaur. No, one centaur beats two archers, okay. So it's gotta be centaur, archer, 
peasant boar, probably. I guess we don't know where, all we know is that both archers and peasants beat boar, but we don't know which of them is better ranked. Okay. Boar beats peasant? No, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. I got those swapped around. Yeah, one centaur beats two archers, one archer beats one boar, one peasant. No, one boar beats one peasant. Okay, so it should be centaurs at the top. 100%. Then archer, then boar, then peasant. Okay. Is that right? Everybody got that? Okay. Yeah, D you can DM me on Twitch. Uh, that's probably the easiest way. I'll keep an eye out. I don't normally look at my DMs basically anywhere, but if I know somebody's gonna DM me about that. Twitch is, Twitch is the best way. Okay. All right, so I feel good about that. Center, uh, centaur, archer, boar, peasant. Can I, can I put those in? Uh, centaur, archer, or peasant. <gasps> Everything's filled in correctly. Woo! Woo! Okay. I'm gonna assume. Blank, blank lost a Pajak game. And I'm going to assume this is, I'm just taking stabs in the dark, but that's kind of what this game is sometimes. To Zubiri Kara, blank blank thought blank blank had cheated. So he tried to take blank blank's ear? Ear? Okay. I mean, let's try repeating these names. I, my instinct is that it's probably not just the same names over and over again. But let's put them all in and see if this works. Oh, he took his ear. All right, so this is definitely, definitely Bill. <laughs> and Bill was the quartermaster. Okay, great. Okay. And so this was Bill. I guess I probably don't have to, I probably don't have to figure out the ranking here. So we know you were blue and you were yellow. Yellow, blue, so it was a win, question mark, and a win. So at least two wins. Damn. All right. So let's figure out who the who's the winner on these ones. So this was a blue win. I mean, I have to assume that two centaurs is better than two boars because the ranking difference is pretty pretty staggering. So this one would be a win win win, which would make this three and uh and pendulas. Okay. That's kind of what I expected. But it's good to know. And then the top left is Ruben and Gabriel. Okay. Making progress. Okay. And... Can't, can't really assume any directionality. Oh no, I should be able to figure out, okay. So, uh, this one is, okay, hold on, hold on. This one was won by blue. 
and you got a blue. So that's three, okay. Which must mean the other person is Pendula. Let's go ahead and put those names in. Any last names? Thaisen, is that a G? Thagson? Or Th I thought it was Thaisen. Kinda looks like Thagson. All right. And then Ruben and Gabriel, win, win, win. Uh, this is win. This music does slap. So I'm gonna assume win, win. Loss. Okay. So this was a yellow, yellow, blue. So Ruben has the blue. No, Ruben has yellow. Ruben has yellow, is what I just said. Okay. So the sleeping man is Ruben. Oh, 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 here it comes. It telling me I did good. Yes! Okay. All right. So now we just have to figure out who killed whom chronologically. So Bill was had to have been the initial aggressor, right? You had a note. Please bring Gabriel as a cautionary measure should Bill lose his temper. And as we know, Gabriel is this man. Um, hmm. So my guess is that Gabriel killed Bill first. And then somebody killed Gabriel, and then somebody killed that person, and somebody killed that person. Um, with a rapier. Okay. Yeah, Gabriel killed Bill with a rapier. Then... Sri... Killed Gilbert. No, Gabriel. Gabriel Hubert, which, if you combine them, is, is Gilbert. Uh, with... A chakram. How did you die? You were bludgeoned, clearly, by this man. All right. You were the mace. The real, a real house of cards. A real Rube Goldberg murder. <laughs> I, you were harpooned by Carlos, who's clearly a fish. I love this <laughs> harpoon fish tattoo. <laughs> the super subtle harpoon fish tattoo he had on his shoulder. A harpoon. And then Oberon Giller. Oberon Killer. Killed that guy the pistol. Bam! Bam! The young Lemurian Zuberia Kara, bored of his studies, went down to the Yellow Lily to, Lily to participate in a Pajak tournament. He played against the skilled but hot-headed quartermaster Bill Price and won. Bill, incredulous that he could have lost to a newcomer, accused Zuberia of cheating and tried to take his year. Ho 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 ho! Excellent. Oh, I didn't play the opening cutscene. Today is the most important day in your life, children. Oh, it's a Yoshi egg. You will meet a Lemurian saint. Cool. 
and other powerful people. Oh. This is the opening cutscene, I didn't play it. Real Kung Fu tournament opening setting here. <laughs> this must be the place. All right, really good. I love, I love when fantasy stuff has big statues. And I regret that we just don't have giant massive statues that much anymore. I want to be humbled in the wake of majesty. The unfortunate accident at the Raja's court. Y'all want to see what my notes for that looked like? There it is. Totally parsable. Hold on, I should do this big cam. There it is. Perfect. All right. Okay. Where to start? Uh, it looks like I can go into this building. Love this face. Love this. Oh, nope. Okay, let's, let's, let's figure out the outside first. Let's figure out all these people. Oh, man. The animation's really off the hook. <laughs> More so in the DLC than in the OG. Cool pog bottom right. <laughs> I did not expect my first Seven Seas assignment to conclude so shockingly. No wonder these savage countries need to be civilized. Oh, it's a shame you're not dead. Albert. We must strengthen relations with Aba Abaya, the Radiant, in order to establish a trading outpost in Lanka and bring these four locally produced pigments to Europe. Cool. Usherik, produced in mines filled with toxic gas, not great. Aphid, gathered from silverback piranha infested lakes. Laqua, harvested from the nesting crickets. Sector, gathered from the sector spiders. Our cultural tolerance department has provided a gift, a statue appropriate to these devil worshiping societies. Find out if they appreciate it. Consider pretending to be a devil worshiper too. Seven Seas Central Office, London, bro. Whew. Seven Seas Company Associate Travel Guide. Um, one of the dudes in the last scene had a note from an SSC, which I assume is this. Ooh, navigating by star, north star. Once you're facing the north star, you are facing north. Navigating by crescent moon. Oh, this is cool. Imagine a line joining the endpoints and down to the horizon. That direction is south. That's neat. That's cool. I didn't know that. I'm gonna flip to a new page. Do I have any other pages? Okay. I don't know. Is that is that true? Does anybody are there any sailors in the chat? <laughs> chat, are there any sailors <laughs> that can speak about it? Hobbs it is. That's fucking cool. I knew about this one. I didn't know about the Crescent Moon one that rules. Bean person, thank you for the prime subscribe. I always forget to say this, so I'll say it now cuz you reminded me. Uh that if you use Amazon Prime, you get a free sub to a Twitch account of your choice. So if you have a, uh, one of those that you're not using, you can use it wherever, but I told you about it, so you can use it here. I always forget about that. I almost never have an Amazon Prime account, but every once in a while, Amazon's like, don't you want to try it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I'm like, actually, I don't buy stuff from Amazon ever, so this is not useful. Seven Seas Company Associate Travel Guide. On the island of Lanka, as with many other former colonies of the Lemurian Empire, the lingua franca is common Lemurian. The Great Suzo, thank you for the gift sub. It's Nicholas. This is an example of common Lemurian script. Note that the honorific master is followed by the surname. For the last century, the island of Lanka has been divided in three kingdoms, each named by their ruling family. They are Jaffna, Jamini, and Vijaya Khan kingdoms. Each kingdom is ruled by a Raja who subjugates the peasantry, enabling the cheap production of cloth, pigments, and spices. Oh, tobacco pouch. What in God's name? Uh, what? What possibly? 
present go in mouth. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a mouth and a spoon and a present, and it's telling you to put it in your mouth. I'm gonna be thinking about this one for a while. A pipe. Is it is it a pipe? Maybe put s smoke the put this present in a pipe and smoke it. That's not the direction you smoke things, though. Albert, I will not be able to accompany you on your first Seven Seas mission. A pressing matter requires my attention. Ignore whatever rubbish Central Office has suggested. Befin befriend Putra, he has the Raja's ear. When you arrive, place the gift in the location as instructed on the wrapping paper. It is meant to be a surprise. Okay. The art style of this game always consumes me. I think that's fair. It's so unique. I love, like, highly detailed pixel art. Okay. Keep your mouth shut, boy. Your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. Undoubtedly, his highness will demand your life. Okay, we got a key. Be my badger, thank you for the resubscribe. Position guards outside the chamber of trials during the test in the morning. Only my children and the priest must be allowed in there. Anxious Topiary, thank you for the bits to push us over that line. I hope your new job's going well. Uh, always love a posture check. I, one of the things that I did when re-updating my thing, my whole setup, is that I lowered my camera so that I can sit better. Because normally I was having to strain. So now I have, weirdly, I have better posture now, which is nice. Position guards outside the chamber of trials during the test in the morning. Only my children and the priest must be allowed in there. The priest forbids the presence of any Westerners during the ritual, but we do not wish to insult a man of the Seven Seas Company. Entertain Albert Cloudsley, Esquire, by showing him the gardens during the ceremony. Meanwhile, allow nobody to enter the ritual hall except me, my children, the Lemurian delegation, and our noble blade master. Okay. So this dude has th that note. Cease your threats, Lanka Lackey. I am not to blame for my mother's, father's deception, but perhaps this is the price we pay for our stagnating culture. I beg you, cease to request that we meet. You know it unwise. Venerable Yupig's watchful eyes notice everything. He is your father and you know his character. He will not tolerate such aggression. Okay, so Yupik is this dude's father. Oh, I am a mere servant and must know my place. I can never be a part of the Kara family. Ari, interesting. Oh, this is Zubiri, right? It looks like Zubiri. All right, hold on. We'll get there. Do not worry, young Lemurian. If it is meant for you to die today, it will be by my hand and swift. I have killed many people for the right and wrong reasons, such as the Dharma of the warrior. Falchion. My tiger, have you found anything that might help me earn my rightful title? Then you can be by my side forever. Leave it in the bush by the pyre. That insufferable Putra and his dogs search our things regularly, so we must be careful. Your moonlight and soon your queen. Oh, everybody's fucking around with people they're not supposed to be fucking around with. Wow, this statue really is, really is an intense, intense statue. All right, uh, we're gonna go into these buildings, but I wanna see real quick. Blank, blank, blank using Blank, 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 killed blank, blank, using a blank which he found in the blank of the blank. It was delivered by blank, blank. This resulted in the death of blank, blank. As a result, blank, blank demanded blank, blank's life, but instead, blank, 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 a blank in exchange. These are the identities to be discovered. All right. Well, I don't have, I don't have your name yet. I don't have your first name as a, as a word. All right. Still more to be discovered. I'm curious if these pigments will be of any use. Friend Putra. Who had that file? Oh no, it was in this book. Okay, I wanted to write down these names. Jaffna, Jamini, and Li. Ja. Ja. Okay. 
following people are o o only are allowed in the ritual hall on November 16th. During the test procedures in the morning, the Lemurian priest and the potential heirs, potential heirs, during the ritual fucking... <laughs> uh, who the hell is Edgar? <laughs> right here with this fucking pit in the pendulum. During the ritual of the blade in the evening, the Lemurian delegation, the royal family, the spy master, and the blade master. Fucking love this. All right. Lemurian delegation. Royal family. Spy master. Blade master. Okay. Boner remover 3000. Oh no. The Gom Jabbar, but for boners, yeah. A bottle of teal substance labeled Aphid Ink. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Great. Great. What? Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Putting that away. Putting that away. <laughs> it don't, does not seem like it went well. A bottle of peak substance labeled Usheric ink. I wonder if the color is going to be important. I'm going to write it down just in case. Teal. Aphid. Pink. Usheric. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this has, does this have the same, I think it has different symbols over here. Does it? Okay, no, I think it has the same symbols over here. Different things circled. 18. <sighs> this is gonna be something. Okay, so the sheets them of paper themselves are the same. It's just the notations are different. Ooh, boyola. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Arrow me in the eye? Throw me in the eye. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Blue ink. With like, kind of looks like bug parts. Throw me in the eye? Maybe. Dear diary, I believe I finally found love after all these years. I believe... If I can leave my servitude and marry this brave- I wonder if I can leave my servitude and marry this brave fighter. The poor boy will be heartbroken, but he should have understood a long time ago that I have no interest in him. My tender petal! I spend my nights restlessly thinking about your sweet lips and eyes. Meet a let us meet again at midnight on 12 November in the Orchid Garden. There we can have privacy to share our love and secrets, your warrior Jayan. So I think the- Okay. The hall will be unlocked the morning they take the test. When the winner is revealed, we will lock it again. The evening before the ritual, lock yourself inside and set everything up. Remember to prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. The red paint is in the vase. Wait, okay. The evening before the ritual, lock yourself inside and set everything up. Remember to pre prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. The red paint is in the vase. The woman is not breathing, yeah? I reckon. Hey, Goth. Okay. 
All right, so this is, I assume, where this was. Oh, I can look up. Oh, great. Okay. So you eat some bread or possibly get a little drunk off some pottery wine. You lie down. Your soul leaves your body as the pendulum goes over you. Touch, you get touched by God. It returns to your body and you enjoy more pottery wine. What? Cannonball. <laughs> Um, this was less illuminating than I expected. Okay. So, I think... Jayen. Okay, hold on. This guy's gotta be Jayen. And this has to be... If you find anything that might help me earn my rightful title, then you can be by my side forever. I beg you, cease to request him. Okay, so... Zubiri was in love with that woman who is now dead. Uh, as was Jayan. But she was into Jayan. She was not into this kid. Venerable Yupix's watchful eyes notice everything. He is your father, and you know his character. He will not tolerate such transgressions. I'm a mere servant and must know my place. I can never be part of the Kara family. Ari. Her name's Ari. Okay. Ah! Wait. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. I wasn't ready for that. All right. So this is Ari. This dude, Jayan. Okay. This one's got to be Cloudsley, right? I'll just put that there. We'll see. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, man. So much details. A large statue. Do not get precise answers. Did not get precise answers, but this will help. Rotate the line every fourth same color circle, circle, square. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. The number of horizontal lines multiplied by six. Three is easy. Just look carefully. Okay, so this has to be about those papers that we found in the other room, right? Like, that just has to be what this is about. Okay. The red demon mask from the secret society from the main game. Yes, Hobbs. Well spotted. I did not notice that. Uh, okay. So I think this is in reference to those papers. Somebody was trying to fucking cheat, I think. I, I wonder if it wasn't two people trying to complete those slips of paper and the, whoever completed it first got to go on the death contraption? Maybe? Uh, and I'm wondering, So, but they were trying to cheat. I, I don't know, okay. That's just a supposition. I'm gonna write this down. Rotate the line every fourth same color Circle, square, circle. Number of horizontal lines by six. Question mark on number three. Okay. Oh, here's a body with their belly sliced open. Tomorrow is a big day and my heart trembles with anticipation. If Tisa passes the test, I will not feel I have failed. I will have witnessed the, the, his ritual of blade with joy in my heart. For none is braver and wiser and worthier than him to inherit father's responsibilities. If I happen to be picked, I will bow my head in humble appreciation of this great honor. 
Okay, so Tisa is one of the brothers. This... Hold on. So the... Okay. Well, leave leave it in the bush by the pyre. That insufferable preacher and his dogs will s has search our things regular, so we must be careful. Have you found anything? My tiger? Okay, so she figured out that thing and wrote it. <laughs> circle, circle, square. Thank you for the highlighted. <laughs> Wait, that's not what it said, though. Hold on. D oh, did I transcribe it wrong? I did. Circle, circle, square. I did. Thank you, chat. Thank you for keeping me honest. Uh, or not dumb. Thank you for making me not dumb. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm putting, I'm piecing something together here. So this person, who is Jayen, has a note. Leave it in the bush by the pyre, that insufferable putra. Hmm. So, Ari left the note. No, somebody left the note. Not Ari. Ari was telling this guy, Jayen, to leave it in the bush by the fire. By the pyre. Okay. But we don't know who actually wrote that note yet. All right. Okay. Tisa passes the test. So it was this and, and Tisa were up for, I think, the kingdom ship. People of Albion, read and learn the Albion language. The best way to learn this language is by looking at the Seven Seas Company's gifts to Raja. Despite their name, the Infernal Guard are dedicated to a noble cause, fighting fire, yelling to clear the way. They hurry to the place of ordeal to do their unenviable job. The guards do not feel fear and smirk at things that would be agony to commoners. They bravely step into the infernal limbo and do their duty. Challenges they face are like lava and obstacles can be ominous and during the nights even otherworldly. But inattentiveness is a swift killer. Ignited with bravery, they step into the nightmares. Their burden is monstrous. They often yell commands already fatigued. If accidents can cause such misery, intentional cases are more uh, odious. But the men, unclean and tried, run to the palace of terror to face whatever horror awaits them. The woman oh, has a huge wound across her abdomen beneath an apron, and she is not breathing. A wooden apron and clothing beneath it have been slashed. There is a mixture of blood and red paint on the wound. This, a stiff ornament, ornamental apron made of wood. Have you, may you travel from darkness to light, from death to immortality, dear sister. Death is a mere illusion that appears to those who cannot grasp absolute reality. Tomorrow's the great day. The ritual hall will be open and Anula and I will be evaluated. May light guide my, guide my sister in the test for she is worthy of the title. If fate judges me to be the one, then I am ready to undergo the journey through the blade to the sun and back again to claim my birthright. Journey through the blade to the sun and back again. I suggest you do your language practice while observing the Seven Seas Company gift to Raja. Okay. So, that body is Anula. This guy must be Tisa. Huh. Are we going to find the eponymous spider? Oh. A centipede. A beetle. A cricket. A spider. A scorpion. Is that it? Some bugs? Okay. Sector spider. Feed only twice a week. Okay. The deadliest arthropods of Lanka. Sector spider. Feed only twice a week. Calmarian Scorpion, a quick and painful death. Plain Beetle, the merciful killer, like falling asleep. Legion Centipede, after death, victim's body bloats like a balloon in minutes. Okay, I'm developing a theory. 
nesting cricket bite stops heart quickly. Okay. So there's a little lock here. But if we recall, the sector spider, I'm so glad I wrote down those colors. So the aphid ink was teal, the usherick pink ink was pink. We also have the Laqua and the Sector. I'm going to guess that the Sector ink is blue and that perhaps one was still living and in this jar and bit her? This, this is my theory. We've got a beetle, we've got the centipede, we've got the cricket. A small spider. Although the spider is red, so, I mean, we haven't found the rest of the ink, right? We got teal, we got pink. And we had, like, green. I think this is a different shade. Than the... Well, it's not very different. All right, well, we'll just keep going. We'll get more information. Feed only twice a week, a quick and painful death. Merciful killer, like falling asleep. So the Lakwa was a cricket, right? Nesting crickets. Okay, so the Lakwa is from nesting crickets. So mine, silverback. Lakwa. Crickets. Sector spiders. Okay, okay, okay. So we're playing the DLC, the original game. So they're both point and click mysteries. You probably figured that out. The original game was about a golden idol and it sort of traveling through different hands as um, the owners of it basically inevitably died. Um, because somebody else was trying to get their hands on the idol. The idol was magic. Um, and I think this is probably leading up to us finding the idol, since this is a, a prequel. <gasps> a bottle of black substance labeled Sector Ink. Okay. So the Sector Ink is black. Oh my god, there's so many... <laughs> Sorry, there are so many words to click on, I panicked. Dear Putra, I did my best to seduce that Lemurian servant girl from Sukera family so we could obtain successful results for the young prince in the test. Surprisingly, she was not charmed by my advances. I do not know what is wrong with her. Seems dubious. Can I trust him? So this was a letter to Putra from G. I'm... from G, the Blade Master, who I don't know if we have necessarily met yet. Okay. My best to seduce. I think he, I think G couldn't seduce her because she was already in love. I think that's Ari, and I think she was already in love with Jayen. So I'm gonna hesitantly put that name there. Seems trustworthy. <laughs> Surprisingly, she was not charmed by advances. I don't know what was wrong with her. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to say also pretty dubious about that. Okay. Wear yellow in the evenings, do not mourn the black ocelot, be untamed and forget your worries. You will be heir. Oh, you do dream of green wilderness. Gift your guests impulsive gifts. Release your inner lion when in doubt. Furthest leap is the hardest landing. Beast of honor is a rare sight. Disrespect emperor and fall like a leaf. A hunter enjoys the morning sun. Eat breakfast, sing poems. Do not trust your servant, trust your instinct. On your last day, just roar at the sun. This is not hard to decode, but the method is curious. Picture is the key. Master, we found this poem and picture in the gar palace garbage, September 5th. Picture is the key. I mean, it's yellow, and it's a lion leaping. It's, is there one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? No, okay, I don't think there's a spacing issue. 
So let's go ahead and put that away for now. I don't think the code is based on spacing. Oh, Klusper, Gamini, Vijaya, Jambupur, Jaffna, Lankapur. Okay, I think, okay. So Jamini and Vijaya and Jaffna were part of the delegates. So these are the three delegates. So I guess these are the capitals. Okay. I'm just gonna see this <laughs> this king. This king. A bottle of blue substance labeled Laqua ink. Okay, so Ari had a bottle of Laqua ink with her down there. Some encoded correspondent you're magnificent some encoded correspondence is being exchanged between someone at the palace and somebody else i do not like it and my spies are working overtime to discover who's behind this i still believe it is safe for your children to undergo the test for the chosen one to go through the rites of rebirth the lemurian saint confirms that the ritual is the same as when you were sworn in when you came of age by day's end you will have your heir your highness master sun okay so sun is the spy master and G is the Swordmaster. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Oh, okay. Magnificent Raja, I accept your invitation to facilitate the test and the initiation. Our delegation will arrive with the necessary equipment on the start of November. Regarding the Westerners, you already know that we strongly advise against trading with them. They do not understand the importance of Lemurian tradition and their ways are impure. High Priest of the Kara Clan. Where was that? Okay. You want life for life, O oh most radiant and magnific magnificent Raja. Has this information satisfied it your needs? A small box filled with incense sticks. What? Small box filled with incense sticks. For sharing this secret, I will allow your Zubiri A to live. Uh, but he must join me in on the journey as insurance for your honesty. You are free to leave with your delegation. Various rings, expensive, and a catar blade. Okay. So this is Zubiri's pop. Papa Zubiri. All right, which makes you a Kira. Ah, uh, okay. So much mystery. Uh, hold tight real quick. I'm gonna turn off the AC. It's getting actually cold in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, all right, so these are Nula and Tisa. I f need to figure out what their last name is. I'm certain I have this information. I th think this guy is Putra. Because it's like it's the most trusted advisor. I'm gonna put that in hesitantly. All right, so we have these three dudes. Keep your mouth shut, boy. Your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. Undoubtedly, his highness will demand your life. We got this text in blue. So this was this was written by the king. For me, my children, the Lemurian delegate and our delegation and our noble blade master. This guy also has the key to the insects, right? This giant red lock. Bite stops heart quickly. That is what killed Ari. So 
so this was so this was a trick, right? The the point here is that this was supposed to lower to lower the belly so that it didn't get hit. She was in here to activate this. Uh, but she died from being bit by a cricket before she was able to. The hall will be unlocked the morning they take the test. When the winner is revealed, we will lock it again. The evening before the ritual, lock yourself inside and set everything up. Remember to prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. The red paint is in the vase. Okay. So it was supposed to... Okay, so the red paint was supposed to be like faux blood, I, is my guess? And she was supposed to prepare the apron, and it... She was supposed to... Because this has blood and red paint on it. So she was supposed to win. And she did, but then the trick wasn't activated. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I never... F okay, let's read the rest of what we need. The Myri Lemurian delegation consists of blank, 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 and blank, blank. Blank Blank is Raja, Blank Blank is my master, and Blank Blank is Blade Master in the city of Blank. Okay. See, I am I don't know what city we are in. I don't think we're in uh Jumpapur. I'm not totally certain. Blank Blank filled this in and Blank. <laughs> blank 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 using a blank which he found in the blank of the blank. It was delivered by Blank Blank. This resulted in the death of blank blank by using a cricket which he found in the blank of the blank. As a result, blank blank demanded blank blank's life. Ooh. Uh, but blank blank, but instead blank 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 a blank in exchange. Okay, hold on. This one is Zubiri. The Raja demanded Zubiri Kara's life, but instead Blank, 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 a loved, <laughs> kill, maybe not, maybe not, all right, man, there's a lot going here, oh, all right, insufferable Putra as his dogs search our things regular, okay, Putra must be the spy master, right? Spymaster, last name is Sun. A spymaster. We know that. I believe G is the last name of the Blade Master. Alright, and the. the. Okay. I'm just making notes. So the Spymaster writes in black. The king writes in blue. We've got three. I assume, I so we're in one of these cities and then the other two once we figure out what city or kingdom we're in, we'll know the last name of a bunch of people. Uh, and then, but I think we have to figure out what city we're in. Uh, okay, Royal Blade Master G. Dear Putra, I did my best. I think Putra might be the first name of the Spy Master. read some there was somewhere there was a note about 
people of Albion. So there was something about Jumpur somewhere. I can't remember where I read it. On the island of Lakna, uh, Lanka, as with many former Lam, the master is followed by the surname. Okay, Jaffna, yeah. Which kingdom is ruled by Raja, the subject, okay. We must strengthen relations with Abhaya the Radiant. Okay, so that's the name of the Raja. In order to establish trade of the cultural tone. Okay. <laughs> Still funny and confusing. Uh, ignore whatever your friend Putra is. He has the Raja's ear. When you arrive, place a gift. Location. It's meant to be a surprise. I think this this must be the spy master. I think this guy's the spy master because he has the key to the deadly poison animals. I think that guy's I think that guy's the spy master. And so th this guy might be the blade master. But uh, that note said that seducing that girl wasn't working. It really seems to have worked. So maybe he was lying about it not working? Hmm. Or they're delegates. Oh, I named both of these guys as Putra. I don't think this guy is Putra. Oh, who's Yupik? Do I have notes of I have I have notes about Yupik. Venerable Yupik's watchly watchful eye notices everything. He's your father and you know his character. Okay. Well, that's Yupik. And this is Abhaya. Although this kind of suggests that none of these are the... Well, okay. No, I guess they would still be the delegates. Alright, I'm going to take the guess that this that guy is. The Swordmaster. Hmm. Now if I could only remember where I saw... The note about Champur... Is it on you? Warrior Jayan. Ah, oh, where? So annoyed that I can't remember where I saw that word. I feel like now it's much more important context. You know it. Yeah, can never be part of the Kara family. Ah, oh, strawberry, you pick already? I'm so jealous. I recently learned that there is a lavender you pick farm near here. I'm really excited about going to that. Insufferable Putra. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to just guess. I don't want to have to guess what city we're in, but uh, I'm, I might simply do. Whew. 
<laughs> I do like that there's just bugs. Okay, well, I remember seeing something about Jumpur. Jambupur. So I'm gonna take a swing that we're in the Jaffna Kingdom. And we'll just see if this is right. Damn, okay. Well, I can just, I can just brute force it. I hate doing that though, it feels so cheap. And it's hard to know if I'm supposed to, or if I'm just supposed to do a better job. Okay. <laughs> All right. Clucifer. Well, I don't hate that, actually. That's fine. All right. Okay. All identities filled in correctly. Bam. All right. Okay. Okay. A uh, Lemurian, Lemurian delegate consists of blank, 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 and blank, blank. Uh, I think. Okay, the Kara family and uh, Ari are the delegates. Oh boy. So, okay, this is actually very useful because now I don't have to click between these two. So rotate, ev rotate the line every fourth same color circle circle square thank you chat uh, number of horiz hor horizontal lines by six three question mark okay whoa lacking sanity that's cool wait hold on let's go peek oh the way to solve that one you can see the crescent moon in the outdoor scene which shows you which way is south and then there's an eagle statue to the south. Good catch. Ah! Yeah, to the south, there's this big old eagle statue. Really good. That's really good. Uh, it's a shame they made it so easy to brute force. <laughs> no, that was perfect. That's really cool. Okay. Where'd my water go? I just thought that was fun flavor text. I mean, clearly it was important, but I just didn't clock it. Uh, okay. So one of these is right and one of these is wrong. Rotate the line every fourth the same color. Number, okay. So there are three solutions here. Rotate the line every fourth, same color. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so one, two. Okay, so every, so the first one should be straight. Oh, I'm just looking for the next next one. Okay, so it has to be one of these straight ones. So this one, or this one, or this one. Wouldn't it be funny if they were both wrong? No, one of them is right. You should play Obra Den, though. It is really a really incredible game. Um, and then every fourth same color, rotate the line. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two. Four. So it should just be should be a white circle, circle, square. Okay, circle, circle, square, circle. So it should be a circle. Okay, so this one is correct. So this one has to be Anula's. There we go. 
Wait, let's figure out the rest of one. Number two is the number of horizontal lines times six. Okay. That would have been an easier one to figure out. <laughs> that would have been a way more simple <laughs> math selection to figure out. And then this one, I guess, is just a, a rotation puzzle. Okay, great. We're really trucking. Um... Ooh, okay. Blank, blank. Beat? Okay. See, this is nice. You know what? The last time I played this game, we had issues because my camera and captions covered up a bunch of the text, this text down here. And that was always a frustration. And I know some of the screen is still getting covered, but it's a lot less. So I feel good about that. Okay. The guy who made a <laughs> Overden tweeted that he loved this game. Case of the Golden Idol, that's really funny. That's funny and good. Okay. Blank, 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 blank. So blank, blank killed, I think the Spy Master. Putrasan killed Ari Sukara using a cricket, which he found in the Oh, maybe it's not, which he found in the blank of the spy master, the room of the spy master. Maybe it wasn't Putra's son, because if they found it in the room of the spy master, that implies that it's not the spy master. It was delivered by blank blank. This resulted in the death of Isukara. Oh, no, I wanted to reuse those. Who? So it was blue. Blue ink, which the king used. But why would the king want to kill his own daughter? It's because he wanted to ensure his son took the throne. Although, hold on. This implied that the spy master implied that. Your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. Undoubtedly, the Highness will demand his life. Not to blame for my father's deception, but perhaps this is the price we pay for our stagnating culture. Do not worry, it was meant for you to die today. It would be by my hand. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Riley and Rochelle. I have not heard that game. Heard of that game. Has anyone played that? Riley and Rochelle? As a result, blank blank demanded. Okay. As a result, the Raja demanded Zubiri's life, but instead, blank blank. Probably didn't seduce a statue in exchange. Revealed. A secret? Ooh. You wanted my life for life, O oh, most radiant and magnificent Raja. Has this information satisfied your needs? <gasps> Do you think he told him about where to get the golden idol? <gasps> Ooh. You must journey with me. Okay, I bet the third sequence is them journeying. Uh, I might, uh, here's a question is, should we push through and finish this DLC today? I'm, I'm leaning towards it. I don't know, because there's not going to be enough to fill a whole second stream, probably. We'll figure it out. Let me finish this first. Instead, Yupikara revealed a secret in exchange. Okay. I feel good about all of this, but who is it delivered by? Probably Putrasan? Okay. I feel good about most of this. I don't know who killed... Maybe... It was delivered by blank blank. This resulted in the death... Oh no! Hold on, I'm an idiot. This resulted in the death of Ganini. Hmm. 
blank blank killed Ari Sukera using a cricket which he found in the room of the spy master. Feel good about all of those, although I don't know who's the one who did it. This is delivered by this delivered by it had to I guess Giant G. Throw me in the eye, arrow me in the eye. This feels like a really important clue, but I don't know how to parse it. Dear diary, I believe I have found Here, this brave fighter. Uh, maybe the secret Yupik shared was that he knew about his his servant girl and the blade master. The hall will be unlocked in the morning. Hmm. Yupik Kara has to be involved in either the killed or the delivery part. It wouldn't make sense for him to be held by response. That's that's a good point. Uh, yeah, why does the king think Yupik is responsible for the death? I just don't know. I don't know who killed Ari. Okay, wait. Do we? How do we feel about everything else? Killed Ari Sukera using a cricket which he found in the room of the spy master. Yes, it was delivered by blank blank. This resulted in the death of. Anula Gamini. Yes, as a result, the Raja demanded Zubiri's life, but instead revealed a secret in exchange. Okay, I feel great about all that second half stuff. You think Albert did it? I guess it would have to be, because somebody is s sharing codes. Master, you found this poem and picture in the palace garbage. Somebody is. You will be heir. Okay. 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 Yeah, so somebody... The Titania Printing House. Shared these notes. I suggest you do your language practice while observing the Seven Seas Company gift to Raja, which has a big old seven on the belly. That has to be part of the code, right? Maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean. I mean, I think, okay, I think the words are just relevant. Picture is the key. I, I think there's no real code. It's just sort of what connects to this image. But that's a good read. I do think Friend Putra, he has a Raja's ear. When you arrive, place the gift in the location as instructed on the wrapping paper. It is meant to be a surprise. What? What? <laughs> I am still fucking mystified about this image. Okay. But no, I think that's a good read. Uh, Albert was colluding with Tisa. No. Yes. Well, you will be heir was the key. So somebody was colluding with Tisa. I think. Oh, okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. It was deliver I do think uh, so one of the names are right because it's two or fewer slots are incorrect. So one of the names is incorrect. And it's one of the two names I just input. Um I don't think it's Putrasan. 
It could be... Okay. It's delivered by... It, this has got to be the wrong one. Maybe not. I mean, maybe... No, I think somebody arranged for Tisa. I don't think Tisa did it. It's delivered by Albert Cloudsley. No, hold on. No, I think I'm getting farther. Because Putra's son, I think maybe that's just a clue. No, hold on. What do you think, chat? Not the room of Spymaster, mouth of statue? Wait. Using a cricket. It's gotta be... You think the names are right? You think the found in the blank of the blank is wrong? Using a cr You don't think so? Okay. So you... Okay, I see. So you think that this note... While observing... You think it was in the mouth of the statue? Found in the mouth of the statue? Oh, good read. Good read. I would the the fact that the spy master had that key really threw me off, but I think that was just a clue as to that being the spy master's room, not a clue to his participation explicitly in the murder. Young Prince Tisa failed to pass the Lemurian test to become an heir. So, as advised by a secret correspondent, she took the recipient receipt of a bottle containing a deadly insect along with the instructions delivered by Albert Cloudsley. Before the ritual, Tisa threw the bottle into the machine and murdered the Lemurian servant, Ari. She could not lower Princess Anula, and the princess died. Oh no! Wait, go back. I want to watch the... Oh, is there no cutscene? No cutscene for this one? Okay. Um, God, this is exactly the time I would normally end the stream. But, like I said, I'm going to assume it's like another, roughly another hour to finish this one. And my choice is either one perfect, beautiful, complete stream. Just a warning, Jenna, this is really long. To how long? Is it is it two hours long? Let me look up a how long to beat. How long to beat? Um, it's not two hours. What if I'm thick, though? What if I do a bad job? There's no information. It's two hours for the whole DLC. Well, we've already been here two hours, so that, that can't can't be the case. Keep, bear in mind that the amount, because I'm like talking through things, like everything takes longer to stream. That's just like a fat, a fat, a flat rule that you should bear in mind. Whatever the how long to beat, this is something I've just learned through many years of doing this now. Like whatever the how long to beat is, it's going to be longer by a, a m m substantial margin uh, on stream. This one took me as long as the first two did. Our Mozart goats tell me true, though. You good at these games? You fast? You, you cut to it? It's it's already been, yeah, so it's already been two hours. If, if y'all chat are suggesting that the rest of this section is as much as the first two. No, we brute forced it. <laughs> um, I think this one took me significantly less time than the other two chapters. 
let's just go for it. I, Cause at the end of the day, I really like when you're gonna start playing Tears of the Kingdom as well you should. I like when these little games are in nice little segments because then uh, it's less work for me to like export and do metadata and stuff. So let's just do it. Let's power through. So I know this motherfucker, this is Putra. Putra son, the spy master. Ha, thought you could fool me, spider. I have captured you and now you will answer for the death of the princess. Okay. God, okay. No, let's do note first. Master Putra son, that's you. I have already shared my suspicions about the disaster of the rebirth ritual. <laughs> Thank you, the Lady Flame. I got this at a local, uh, the local college had a pottery sale. And this is, this is one I got there. I also got this one, which I use for coffee, which I've also shown off on stream before because I think it's so cool. This was definitely like a press mold. It's so crisp though. I love pottery and I love buying pottery. He's one of, all right, I've already shared my suspicion about the disaster. He was one of the shareholders of Titania Printing House but my honor does not allow me to reveal his name. However, he goes by the name of Spider, and I plan to let him and meet him at the printing house on November 22nd. Let me settle your private matter with him first, and then he is all yours. All right, so they have, okay, so this is Albert Cloudsley. At gunpoint, insolence, blasphemy. He's got, he's got a robe. He's got a fancy printing house robe. It's pretty good. Okay. Jamadar Alar Sun must be related to him. And Hivaldar Lanji Sinha will hide in the boats and guard the second entrance. Boom, boom, boom. The ambush of the spider. Front door. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. I will approach the front door with Jamadar Elhar Sin Elara Sinhar and Havildar Kirthi Bandara. Okay. All right, so we got, the, but there's three dudes there. So they are at the docks, but there's three dudes down here. Ho, 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 ho. So I bet the blue circle is this guy and the green is the spider. Uh, I, I'll probably sort them when I have all of them. Master Putra Sun, there are all, these are all five shareholders of Titania Printing House. All of them are affiliated with the Seven Seas Company. Have a good hunt. I hope you will arrest the bastard. Master of Archive and Library, Siva Udawate. Cool logo. Albert Cloudsley. This one's a spider. Birth pla place of birth, Blackfield Albion. 34, height 3 and 7 eighths, half. 90, sir, weight. Married, three children. Was this guy in the first game? Sent by the Seven Seas Company head office to establish new trading posts in Lanka. Dangerous and very arrogant. Cannot be bothered to learn the basics of common Demurian to improve his situation here. Dink. Narcissus. Montablon, Mont Montalban claims to be 1,000 years old. Love him. In his own words, married to alchemy. <laughs> Natural philosopher, alchemist, and astrologist banished from the Society of Hermetic Thought for revealing their secrets. Claims to be able to switch off someone's life off. Several philosophers who have con conflicts with him die from unexplained causes. Very dangerous. Claude Devereux? Uh, widower, late wives were Savoie, Duchess, and Countess of Calvados, an Aquitarian Marquis. Despite his stature, he is a master swordsman, has killed at least seven people in duels, and was subsequently banished from Aquitania, wears expensive clothing, afraid of heights, may attack without provocation, extremely dangerous. Afraid of heights, may attack without provocation, okay. Oberon Geller! <gasps> We know this guy. Uh, unmarried has concealed for the last five years that he has a Lankan mistress. I don't think it's a mistress if he's unmarried. A surgeon hype, I guess maybe she's 
married. A surgeon, I, I don't think that's how that word was, sorry. G getting bogged down with the word mistress. mistress. A surgeon hypnotherapist, <laughs> probably an agent of the Seven Seas Company, has connections to the underworld and is well respected among pirates for providing medical services to their people. Curious about Lanka and Lemurian culture, a charming charlatan who avoids damaging his own reputation. Somewhat dangerous. Uh, interesting. Has connections to the underworld, well respected. This guy was also at the at the card game. A shipwright and former carpenter of the ship pirate ship Rapid Raccoon has a wooden leg, pretends to be drunk and quiet when it benefits him, as though as when he is avoiding a giant fight at the Yellow Lily. Steals and has instigated riots, made a fortune in Pajak, which makes me wonder if he hides cards in his wooden legs. Somewhat dangerous. Ah, you thought that the disguise would have saved you. No luck for you, spider. A curved sword with a clean blade. I'm wondering if this isn't this guy isn't actually the spider. Tonight during the operation, we will practice an old Lonkin code. Imagine what number the picture represents. In the sentence, count to the word matching that number. Blank follows your orders. Trust no one except me. Imagine what number the picture represents. Count in the sentence, count to the word matching that number. Imagine what number the picture represents. Okay. It is hard to understand him, Master. The mask is muffling his voice. We have to get it off him properly to interrogate him. He appears not to be armed, Master. We just searched him. Okay, let me look at this little map again. Ooh, over map. So we got some some dye pits with some nasty toe prints. Basket maximum load four vases. Basket maximum. So we have a basket here. Somebody rode this zip line down. I lo fucking love this. Basket maximum load, four vases. So this 30 serve weight. Okay. I, this, you know what this is? This is a, was it like, oh, what is that, that newspaper comic? That always has the big maps where it's like dotted lines showing the path that that kid run. Was someone wasn't Dennis the Menace, right? Okay. Okay. It's, it's some interesting information to have. Okay. <gasps> Yoshi. And a scooter? <laughs> a kick scooter? Family Circus. Yes, that is who I was thinking of. Okay. Um, so Yupik was here with a fake beard, but his signature robe. Or somebody was pretending to dress as Yupik. Did Yupik have a beard? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Yupik had a beard. Okay, I think somebody was pretending to be Yupik. Oh no. No, let me go back. Okay. Somebody was pretending to be you pick. Climbed up here. Car. Okay. I'm so. The scooter, I don't know. Once again, the scooter is really funny to me. Okay, so they're down by the docks. Are there are there nasty footprints? Wait. Okay, no, they're over here. Interesting. 
So somebody successfully got away, I think, dressed as you pick. Hmm. Oh, and they took a cool mask. Okay, so this is why we have that. Okay, we're getting a time. Look at this design. Okay. And so we're at... Is this... Okay. So 8 p.m. and 8 a.m.? All right, so this is a tide, a tide guide. And the tide's at six-ish. Which I guess means... I don't know what that means. I guess that means it's midnight or noon? Which does it look like? It looks like midnight, maybe. Ooh, hold on. Palace Guard, Special Guard, Royal Guard, Navy Guard. Okay. So these were not names, they were titles. Havildar. Jemadar. <laughs> Look at these fucking hats. Subedar. Okay. Jinnadar. <laughs> Wait, let's go see. Okay. So we've got two orange jackets, one white, one with blue feathers, and pink. <laughs> okay, so the guy in white was a palace Jemadar. The other two were special guard. One was a Halvadar. And one a Jemadar. Okay. I think that's correspond with those that list of names as part of the operation that we got. Educational pictures for little Putra by Spider. What? Educational pictures for Little Putra by Spider. This Is this a taunting children's book? So these are all the cards of those things fighting each other. This is a, a spider pouring some wine for a butterfly. Doing a magic trick. Here's the spider puppeting somebody. So I think this is the first, this is the first section of this DLC. This is the second. And here's Euprick, maybe? Giving a gift to the spider. While Putra and the Swordmaster looks on. This is, this is a lot to take in, and I don't know what any of it means. So the spider is going to take the wings. Oh, he's disguised as you prick? I think this is supposed to be you prick, and I think he is disguised as you prick. The spider is disguised as you prick so he can fly away, aka escape. <laughs> okay. And then Putra's just like, what the fuck? All right. November 22nd, Friday, 
8 a.m. Meeting with the nephew of the bookworm. 10. Pick up a pistol from the repairman. 2. Buy supplies for the boat trip. 6. Meet with the double widower. Oh, that's one of the... Um, okay, these are, these are the other uh, Titania press people. Rehearse the escape plan. Love that. Meet with the money bag. Meet with the old butterfly. Meet with the green boy. <laughs> Some of these nicknames I would be happier to have than other. Nephew. Bookworm. Uh, double widower. Money bag. Oh, butterfly. I added too many D's to that when I wrote it down. And green boy. Youngster. Ah, it's the pig again. Ah, these old Lemurians are impenetrable. My spies report that a young Lemurian, Zubiri Kara, has arrived in the city. He's the son of Ubrick. Okay. He, pr he probably does not know much about their old culture, but apparently has amazing Pajak skills. Okay, so he did... They did, like, actively arrange that murder, I think. More and more in the first the first section of the game. More and more evidence has led me to believe that the Lankan legend about the fountain of youth on a secret island and the rumors about the forbidden golden idol refer to the same thing. Yes! Lemurians are extremely skeptical about their technological past. The topic is completely taboo in their society, which could be related to the downfall of their empire. They are reluctant to reveal the locations of their ancient technologies, but maybe in the future I can acquire some leverage. Yeah, yeah, it's idle time. They have forced my hand with their conservative stubbornness. I will not let these old mystics sabotage the seven company C's company needs. Seven C's company needs. It is a time to invest in some creative research and see if I can find more about their secretive rituals and what makes them tick. What a peculiar principle, life for life. If you do something good or bad to Lemurian, he is obligated to return the same amount back. Is it really the black and white or is it really that black and white or is there some diplomatic leeway? I'm ready to settle my debt to you. I will arrive on Friday at the time you specified. Please be alone. I mean, is it... Maybe this might... Maybe this note is from you, Prick? The old butterfly? Common guards... Cuts and Master Strikes with the Longsword by Paul Weber. Will of the Daemon by Isidore Dux. When Crabs Attack by Jan Wieser. <gasps> Proof of Life After Death by Mahesh. Lemurian Legends by John Swinley. Seven Leaves Poetry by Samantha Ofray. We are commissioning Prince of these titles, Master of Library. Interesting. Okay. The spider created a situation when he blank, 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 therefore blank, 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 blank. Okay, so I think this the spider's got to be Albert Cloudsley, I think. I'm wondering if this isn't you prick. Uh, I think this is you prick. And I think this is Zubiri. Blank Blank had planned to... Alright, so I think I'm basically just summarizing the rest of the story. Crab attack! <laughs> Good crab emotes. Oh, I've got all the... Okay. I didn't think... I didn't think I had all the text clues yet. Oh, gruesome. Curved sword with a clean blade. This man is not breathing. Tonight during the operation, we will practice an old Lonkin code. Okay. Imagine what number the picture represents. In the sentence, count to the word matching that number. Two guards must always 
must be always ready to strike. So guard, guard never curses in front of the commoners. Door of diligence leads to the road of success. Okay, so guard, front, door. <laughs> Not a great code. Um, guard, front, door. Yeah, all right. So this guy who was, looked like a Halvador. Have, have, Haveldor. Fucking, I'm so, I love these fucking kickstand. Okay. Okay, I think we, okay, so we've got all the clues. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Um. I think this is you, Prick. I think I already said that. Uh, all right, let's figure out who these folks are. So Albert Cloudsley, yes. Uh, which one of you is the widower? Okay, so this is the double widow, widower. Cloud. Um, we also have the old butterfly, with the, which I think is you, Prick. I keep adding an R. I think it's just you pick. Um, we've got the green boy. Mm. And money bag. The nephew of the bookworm, money bag, and green boy. So five shareholders. Good luck, okay. Place thousands in his word married to alchemy. Natural philosopher, alchemist of astrologer, banished from the Society of Hemorrhagic Thought for revealing their secrets. Claims to be able to switch someone's life off. Seven philosophers who have had conflicts with him die from natural causes. This guy could also be money bags though, but he's gotta be he's gotta be double widower. I don't think anybody else. Yeah, nobody else is a widower, so that guy this guy has to be it. Okay. Shipwright and former carpenter on the pirate ship has a wooden lake. Could this be Green Boy? Doesn't made a fortune in Pajak. Maybe it's money bag. I'm gonna put him temporarily down as Reuben. Nephew of the bookworm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's look more about. Let's look at this more. I. Cause he's gonna meet with someone. Supplies for the boat trip. Rehearse the escape plan. Meet with money bag. I think, I think it's midnight. But I also don't think I'm, I don't necessarily think I'm reading this thing right. Cause this implies it's 8, 8 p.m. to 1 p.m. And that we're halfway, I don't know, okay. Oh, I just need to fill out, figure out this one dude? Okay, hold on. I think that'll be okay. Uh, he's a Halvador. Low ranking. Palace guard, right? He was in white, right? Okay, so we got a Jimadar and Halvadar. This was one of the ones up top. Oh, he's got a little umbrella. I understand what this means now. Green boy? Maybe this is green boy? One of these is the spider and one of these is the person that he duped. 
Um, I love that he gave his icon a little umbrella, like his little umbrella. That's really good. Okay, so uh, this has to be Kirthi Bandara. It's the Halvador that died up there. I'm curious who did the music for this part. Okay. Uh, I've already shared my suspicions about the disaster with the beaver. She was one of the. I mean, maybe it, this isn't Albert Cloudsley. He's my spider. Although he was new to the company, right? Okay, so maybe the person who, maybe this, maybe he is Albert. Maybe Albert is Green Boy. that one of the other people is the spider. I don't think it's him because he was on the listing. Might be, might be Oberon? Our old friend Oberon? Who saved that young boy? Okay, Oberon. <gasps> okay. It makes sense. So Oberon in the first scene conspired to... So he, he finagled that event in order to get in good with Yupik's son, poor Zviri. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. Hold on. Uh, all right, so that's what this scene is. It's all of them fighting. This is, okay, this is Oberon. This has to be the Golden Idol, right? He gets his friend drunk, tells him about the Golden Idol. Ooh. Okay. No, okay, so he's pouring poison. He's puppeting the green boy to pour poison. So this is not the golden idol. It's the the ritual. The rebirth ritual. There we go. Okay. I dropped my pen. <laughs> Alright. So he, using the green boy, Albert, puppets the destruction of the ritual. Uh, and here's... And so, okay, no, these are the, these are, this is the, the, the prince and princess. This is the princess thinking that she is receiving the heritage, but failing. This is the Tisa being puppeted by the spider. Okay. The spider gives a prezi. No, the, 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 you pick, gets a present. I'm just flashing back to that weird graph of the mouth in the spoon with the present on the spoon. Is that relevant? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll just have to see. Um, and then steals. Okay, that one makes all sense. Okay, let's try to figure, let's fill this out. The spider created a situation where he saved Zubiri Kara's life. Therefore, blank, blank, Zubiri revealed the secret of the rebirth ritual to the spider. Okay. I'm glad we didn't save this. Because this feels like it's going to go pretty quick. Delp Seven, C Seven C's company, the spider blinked. S 
blanked the blank of the blank blank at the Raja's court. Instigated the sabotage of the rebirth ritual at the Raja's court. But blank blank, you prick. You pick. I'm so sorry I keep adding a, an R to the name. Making it kind of a, a, a kind of a curse word. You pick Kara, settled it, then he blanked the location of the golden idol to the Raja. Maybe? Settled it when he... Maybe not. But you pick Kara, settled it when he blank. None of my verb words. Oh, I guess I can reuse verb words. Feel the location of the golden idol. <laughs> because the spider had blank. Blank blanks. Because the spider had saved. You pick Kara's son. Oh, do I not? Oh, you pick Kara's. Maybe Zubiri Kara's life? Blank blank blanks the location. Field, the location of the golden idol. Ybrick Kara revealed the location of the golden idol to him at Titania Price Press. Maybe. However, prior to that, Blink Blink had tipped off Blink Blink. Somebody had tipped off Putra's son about the location of the spider who I have already shared my suspicions about the disaster he's one of the shareholders however he goes plan to meet him at the printing house on November 22nd let me settle my private matter with him first and then he is all yours Meet him at the meeting house on the 22nd. So, could be the nephew of the bookworm. Okay, so this is why I have to know the time. I think this is why I need to know the time. Okay, so... Si so... Okay, if the... If we've got a 12 marker... Uh, time stuff stresses me out. <laughs> I don't understand how time functions in a linear manner. Uh, where's that picture? So... If it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... One, two. So it's 2 a.m. No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it must be 2 a.m. now. So it probably is not the green boy. It's got to be either Moneybag, Double Widower, or Nephew of the Bookworm. I'm not really certain which one is the Nephew of the Bookworm. Ah, yeah, he just met the old butterfly. Yes. I think it I do think it has to be an earlier meeting. Um so it it has to be Moneybag Double Widower or, or nephew of the bookworm. So it's either 
the double widower, I, I have to assume that money bag since he made a fortune in Pajak. I'm assuming a literal fortune, not a metaphorical fortune. Um, and the nephew of the bookworm. I don't know who that is supposed to represent. Probably had tipped off Putrison about the location of the spider. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try Cloud. Cloud. Alright. Oh no! Oh wait, he had the note. Have a good hunt. Maybe Siva is the name we're looking for. No. Ooh. Save data team. Hello and thank you for the raid. Hello, welcome. We're in the late stage. I'll slip off the screen. We're in the late stages of the curse, the case of the Golden Idol DLC, which is incredible. Also, wait, I added a thing in chat. Hold on, let me see. Yes! See? I added a little thing to the chat. I'm so on top of things. Cinnamon Shakes, hey! Thank you for the resubscribe. Love the base game. Can't wait to check this out. Uh, the DLC is real, real good. I won't, I won't click over in case anybody wants to leave before they see um, the, 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 all of the secrets that are on the next screen. I'm in the third section, um, but it's real, 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 real good. It's, I mean, it's everything great about the base game. Um, okay. Uh, what were y'all doing on your stream? Save data team. Five shareholders of Titania Printhound. All of them are affiliated with Seven Seas. Have a good hunt. Hope you arrest the bastard. But I don't think it's him. I tried him and it wasn't him. Oberon Geller is not it. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna flip over, so... You think it's you pick? You think you pick? I mean, let, I'll try it. I don't. I think it's got to be one of the other members. Oh, you got me, Hobbs. Prior, you picked Terra. Okay, had tipped off Putra. Okay. No, I mean that makes sense. That makes more sense than it being somebody else. Got my pen again. That's fine. I don't need it. Um, uh, it makes more sense than it being somebody as part of the team. Okay. This is the last bit. The scroll is not filled in. Blank blank had planned to blank 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 after the meeting at Titania Press, but blank blank had warned blank blank with an encoded message. So he forced blank blank to blank. Yes. Okay. He, so he forced Yupik Kara and wear a mask to switch clothing and wear a mask. Yupik was caught as he left through the hatch. Meanwhile, Blank Blank left through the uh, Galar left through the door, then killed Kurthy and escaped. Okay. Blank Blank had planned to Ambush. Uh, Putra Sun had ha planned to ambush Oberon Geller after the meeting at the Titania Press, but somebody warned him with an encoded message. Oh, guards will attack after Nemirian leaves. <laughs> All right, that had really good payoff. Uh, so Siva, but Siva, that, I'm really so pleased with that payoff. That was so good. 
warn Oberon Geller about the encoded message. Ha! The Lemurian priest had hoped to fulfill his honor-bound duty by revealing the location of the Golden Idol to Oberon Geller before allowing Putrasun to ambush and arrest him. But Oberon had been forewarned, so he forced Yupik to exchange clothing at gunpoint and made him wear a mask. While Putra's people were, were distracted by the masked Yupik, Oberon, disguised as the priest, killed the guard and escaped with the map. Listen, Albert. Mm -hmm. I hold a proposition of business. Oh, and that leads just directly into the first game. God, so good. So good. I can't believe this was... Wait, was this free or did I buy this? This was like a free DLC, right? I mean, I would have bought it anyway. I don't remember. Anyway, if, if I bought it, it was worth the money. And if it was free, then it was worth being free. It was six bucks? Oh, yeah. If you liked the base game. So fun. Really good. I hope, I hope that, I mean, I think they were really, really successful. So I hope they do nothing with their money except make a ton more DLC. Or make a sequel or more make more games. Because this is really good. Lanceheart, I don't believe anybody has claimed a raid if you would like to. I'll go here, even though that this has an issue with the graphics. That's so exciting. Lance, do you have somebody you want us to raid? I'm into it. But you got to do it quickly because it's towards the end of the stream. Oh, Pat. Okay. That guy? Yeah. We'll raid that guy. What are we playing next stream? Don't know. D I forgot that I had to think about that <laughs> until just now this moment. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know. Mechdel, have good Eurovision. Um, let's start the chat. Wh what am I going to stream next? It's it's a mystery to you and to me. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I thought this was going to take longer. All right, we're going to do the raid. Bye, everybody.